I have COPD and doing some of the simple things, yeah, it's a job for me now. But I get the job done. Last night I was using that scissor jack in place of this jack here my friend let me use and it is a lifesaver. I'm rotating my tires on my 2007 Honda CRV and I have to get both sides up and, and then put them on these jack stands so I can pull one tire and exchange it. And then trying to use that scissor jack last night. It took a while and I had to stop, you know, to to be able to get my breath from trying to push it up and and then uh, even using the floor jack. It, it's, a, it's a struggle for me in comparison to what it used to be for me in my younger days. I took a short break to walk down here to my backyard, but, you know, living with the COPD, one thing I've always done is push myself, and my pulmonologist, they've all been impressed because you know, my lungs function at 29% capacity. But, you know, when I worked at Goodwill, I'd run circles around a lot of the youngsters, but it's because I conditioned myself, and even though I might get short of breath, I continue to push myself to make my lungs have to work, <laughs> and that keeps them healthier. Years ago, I read, you know, there's no, there's no cure for emphysema. And the only thing that's been proven to really help it is, you know, to do the exercise to, like, especially, I, I do breathing exercises. Sometimes I have to use my diaphragm to push the old air out to be able to get new air in because that's essentially what happens with people with COPD. Lungs get where it can pull air in, but it can't get rid of it. So, yeah, that caused a lot of issues. And I have to focus on you trying to keep the, the mucus production down in my lungs. And, you know, because ultimately, that's what happens with people. Sometimes with COPD, their lungs might fill with the mucus, and their lungs ain't strong enough to get rid of it. So they basically, they, they drown on the mucus. But when I was young, I didn't know I had the alpha-1 antitrypsin deficiency. And I smoked. I used to smoke a lot of cigarettes and stuff. And what I didn't know is the nicotine... It interferes with the production of the alpha-1. The alpha-1 antitrypsin, which is an enzyme that helps fight off other enzymes, enzymes that's trying to destroy the lung tissue. And I was, I already had a condition I didn't know about that was trying to kill me, and I kept helping it to do it by smoking cigarettes and other things. So now I got to go back to work. And all I have to do is turn the handle to let it down instead of, winding and cranking that thing so hey it's all good i got the job done again but <laughs> if i get a break i need a break and hey i'm grateful my friend let me use the jack thanks for watching